Yes, I know the lighting is awful, and I'm sick. Hi, hello, and welcome back to two spherical shapes that sadly don't produce the spell casting sound effect when clashed together. Out of all the foods in the world that you could possibly choose to munch down on, I think eating raw animal nuts is most insane. I put it above eating the left ventricle of a squid. I don't even know what primal, animalistic, demonic force could even begin to stir inside of your malnourished bones, which would somehow compel you to chomp down on a freshly sliced lamb sack, but here we are. Testy talk, or testicle talk, is more of a smaller niche on TikTok that is overpowered by these two gelatinous-consuming godlike figures, Bardog and Polly Long, aka the testicle king, and don't you forget it. You're talking to the testicle king. I'm not trying to frighten you, but there's a place where he gets all these balls, you know. The testicle community is so vast, any media you typically consume probably exists with the addition of balls. Do you want a quick recipe? A uh, testicle burger. Friend vlog thing? Add some balls. Perhaps you enjoy watching ASMR before you go to sleep at night. You may have heard of Liver King, a man who was previously the raw meat-eating parasite palooza poster child before being shunned away for his sins. Uh, he did quite a few roids. In the modern world, we like to have our bowl of cereal, don't we? This is a primal version of your bowl of cereal. I got my testicles in farm fresh milk. Sadly, his progress that he credits to eating raw meat with protein powder is indeed fraudulent. Starting off this journey with Butter Dog, a man who is well known in the nut community for his genuity and ingenious recipes. You are not American if you've never had a Pop Tart wrapped in foreskin. This is one of my favorite childhood breakfast recipes that I'm going to show you how to make at home. It is so easy and delicious. First, you're going to rip your pee pee off. Yeah, let me go grab my accessible cow testicle from the fridge real quick. Uh, I always keep one readily available for times like these. Really shouldn't be too difficult to do this part. I don't like how it's sitting in a pool of glossy mystery fluid. You can nearly see a reflection in there. Then you're going to dry it off, open it up, and grab your toaster pastries. He doesn't even bother to cook the Pop-Tart. I thought it was just the meat that had to be raw, but the Pop-Tart too is unearthly. I like strawberry because the contrast of the flavors is just so yummy and delicious. A little sweet and a little salty. The kiddos are going to love it. The kiddos will pass away unexpectedly. That's for sure. Imagine actually feeding a child this and ruining their chance of ever having a social life. Yes, I got fruit snacks. No way, I got Capri Sun. What did you get? Um... Do I tell them? Um, Just tell us. What did you get? Is that... A ball sack? Ew. I'm sorry, but my, my dad just- he won't stop feeding me balls. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, fine. What's in that one? So you gross. Have ball, ball breath. Ball, ball breath. Ball breath. Ball. Now, people have personas online, and I get that. I originally thought this was just some character glued onto a guy, but after my bar deep dive, I discovered that he's just like this. He was a random college student athlete that just decided one day to down loads of butter and nibble a few nuts, and now we're here. At his core, this is genuine, but of course it's exaggerated. I'd be naive to accept someone of this natural look, uh, existing with free will in the world and not locked behind bars from dodging 19 felonies. Guys, if you have never had a testicle butter dog, you need to try this. Raw testicle with a little sliver of butter on the inside. No, I don't think I will, and a little sliver? That is a monolith, a gargantuan chunk, a heart disease guarantor, and could easily annihilate anyone over the age of 60. I wholeheartedly believe that if Butter Dog were to volunteer at an elderly home, uh, they would lose all of their patients the following day, either from a zombification or death. No amounts of Jello Cup pre-gaming could prepare them for a Butter Dog special. There is seriously nothing better this is going to give you all the signaling molecules to get you bucked up in the healthy fats, support your brain and your hormones. Yeah, so this is my favorite snack. Uh, it's great for strengthening those alpha neurotransmitters, those mega membranes. Isn't that just soda? Yes. The carbonation actually enhances your oxygen supply. It's very heart healthy. This is my favorite snack. Oh, he hates it. He's acting so hard or squishy. This is one of Butter's more tame TikToks. Usually you'd find him amped up on view amphetamines or giving the homeless bottled poison. Getting some Chad mode. We gotta come back around this. Got some Chad mode for oh, you. Thank you. You're gonna love it. <laughs> There's a lot to be said here. Using the homeless for views or recording them as a joke is so incredibly shit. Sure, you can say, hey, at least he gave her some money, but how devoid of humanity and morals do you have to be to dehumanize someone struggling for a promo? Puppeteering the homeless is a whole different video, but this was just completely out of line from his regular content. How do you go from swallowing nut sacks to dunking on the homeless for a TikTok shop commission you likely made two cents on? You are not Mexican if you have never made ball sack burrilla tacos. That is a burrilla taco made with a nut sack tortilla. That is not a taco. That is a previous jizz holder. Um, a canteen, a nut blanket. Bar has a generous tendency to recreate traditional and regional recipes in his own unique way so that we, of course, can experience this 
innovative craftiness. If you can think of a place he has made a recipe for you, cultural food, no, it's his culture now. This delicious traditional Mexican dish at home. All you're going to do is get your testy and throw them in the sink. And you're going to rinse them off to get rid of the salmonella and parasites. So that's not how that works. Salmonella just doesn't go away because you asked it nicely. One time I had salmonella poisoning because I severely undercooked a fish and nearly died in the middle of an English lesson. So I guess you could call me a uh a bit of the carnivore myself. After that, you're going to sear your testy meat and give it a nice stir. Wait, he's cooking? This is new. I've never seen anything like this in my life. You know, this is, uh, maybe he is a chef. This is Michelin star behavior. This is a huge leap. Bring this to the carne acida and everyone will love it. No, I don't think they will. You may be curious about that bulge. Uh, no, I'm not referencing his array of phallus memorabilia. Commonly, of course, and as you do, but got an urge to kill everything in his system. So he decided to do a live parasite cleanse. Has my diet finally caught up with me? Well, today I woke up with a slight infection in my eye. And what a lot of you guys don't know is that I actually started my parasite cleanse yesterday. I'm assuming he drew the correlation of live to roll uh, and just thought it had to be consumed immediately. I imagine Butter is in a constant race to restrain himself around any living creatures before his mouth starts to salivate because once it does, it's too late. Just another day in my Butter dog life. What is up, you guys? Tomorrow I'm going to be eating giraffe balls, but then tragedy struck. They're all out of stock on nuts on. <sighs> What's that smell? It's enticing. Please don't eat my balls. So I think they might have moved to my stomach to my eye. Because today we woke up and I can like barely open it. So I'm not an intestinal parasite expert or anything like that, but I'm positive that this just is not true. It could be the excessive amount of raw meat you're handling daily though. I'm honestly surprised that this is the only injury that's come out of his carnivorous eating habits. By now I was expecting a few rotten limbs. If one day the human population is faced with a plague of zombies, this man will be immune to the source. Uh, and also maybe the catalyst, I'm unsure. I'm also not positive on why raw animal testicles will be the bleeding cause of uh, zombification, but it just feels like a solid prediction. You are not Australian if you've never had a pickled whale pee pee. That is a fermented whale schlong. So Butter Dog is not Australian, but I'm believing him because this feels like something they would definitely get up to. In order to get citizenship to Tasmania, you must befriend one kangaroo, do a 10 dot, and skin a whale for its schlong. In a pickle jar. And if you've ever been to Australia or you're from there, then you know exactly what this recipe is and it is so yummy and delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make it. See? What did I say? Alexa, uh, add whale phallus and a jar of pickles to my shopping list. I have added whale phallus and jar of pickles to your shopping list. Then you're gonna get your pickle jar and empty it, and then put your whale pee pee back into the jar, just like that, guys. Fill it up with water, and then all, all you're gonna do from here is basically let it sit on your countertop for around three to four weeks. A month? I don't have the patience for that. I also texted my mother asking if I could obtain such specimens and now I think I'm being excommunicated. A month feels like a tad too long for this thing. It may metamorphosize into an airborne anomaly. And this is a really, really common recipe to share with your family. Is that a blood clot? Every time I see Butter, I question to myself, where does he find these monstrous sacks and with such a great variety of creatures as well? Thankfully, he has posted a ball haul for us to watch. Uh, I'm trying very hard here to follow in his footsteps. I'm at my local butcher and we're looking for some testicles. Don't pat that thing like you haven't had its fears pressed up against your two front teeth. Also, did you see the way he walked in that place? He is the only clientele. The last pack of testicles. Butter, I hate to break it to you, but you're not racing a single soul to get a hold of that thing. You can have it. If you're wondering, yes, I had to move all the penises to get to the testicles. Huh, I wonder if he had to move all of those things in the way to get to the bottom. It wouldn't make any logical sense though. Remember earlier when we were poisoning the homeless with creatine? Well, with the same likely to be lead infused TikTok shop gunk, we can celebrate birthdays too. Nothing says happy birthday to a gym rat like a nutsack gelatinous cake. That is a birthday cake filled with testy. I'm now beginning to understand why U.S. healthcare is so expensive. Uh, it's Butter Dog's doing. It looks like a jumbo-sized urinal cake that grew mold. Someone needs to call the CDC. There's going to be an outbreak. Even with this being amped up for the bit and for the sake of entertainment, I mean, where does he draw the line? He's made cakes, testy pops, candy canes. Nothing says Merry Christmas to your family like a nutsack candy cane. He is truly the Gordon Ramsay of balls, a master chef of his own kind, a testicle prodigy. He could have a fridge full of mystery testicles and have a recipe for each and every one of them. This every year for my birthday and I'm going to show you how to do it at home. Um, what is that? First, you're going to open up your fridge and dump 65 pounds of raw nuts into your sink. 65 pounds? 
Uh, how many cakes are we talking? Bar, please don't tell me you're donating these to the homeless shelter. Then you're going to get your Chad Mode pre-workout now available on the TikTok shop. And you're going to add a few scoops to the cake pan, just like so. Let me know, guys, would you try this delicious pre-workout Chad Mode? This recipe is that it is a no-bake, and you can also bring it to the gym because it's so healthy. Healthy isn't exactly the word I would use after seeing that concoction. It is categorically baffling how Bar has not added a new element to the periodic table by now. Bar is definitely a beast. I mean, the way he eats those testes is like no other. Now moving on from Bar Dog, we're going to be talking about Polly Long, the ravenous ball connoisseur, the testicle king himself. Bar may have some good recipes, but what really sets him aside from the king is his silly. Polly plays zero games. He does not care about the recipes on penile Pinterest or the ball bento boxes. He came here to devour. More testicle eating. Well, why didn't you say so? Sounds great to me. I don't know. There's probably about 30 in here. 40. I have no idea. Let's do it. Mm. Fresh. Fresh nut. This is a minute long of him just straight up spherical snacking. Don't forget. You're talking to the testicle king. Polly Long is the testicle king. The testicle king. I'm not really liking the side contact happening here. <laughs> Mm. Although Butter is legendary in the kitchen, I must say, Polly Long is not just chomping down for cheap views. This is his lifestyle. Moldy cheese nut! Moldy cheese nut! Mmm, my favorite. Is this what's become of the TikTok algorithm? Like, is this what keeps retention over there? The Testicle King has a wife, and the relationship they have together is very interesting. Baby, what are you doing? Are you bagging up testicles for me? Oh my god, my dream wife. So was that in the wedding vows, or give me your hands, and I will give you a forever supply of testicles. Aww, oh my god, it's aww, so sweet. So I vow sweet. to always protect you from harm, to stand with you against your troubles, and to look to you when I need testicles. Aww, oh my god, it's aww. so sweet. Hey, sir, can you please stop eating the wedding cake? If you want to eat your raw testicles and wear those beady little life-piercing alpha testosterone eyes, then you can, but dragging people into your testy ways is criminal. Baby, try some testicle. Mm. Come on. Don't do it. You don't have to. Do it. Let us see. Come on. Chew it, swallow it. Come on, 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 come on. Just go. Just swallow it. Come on. Just down it. Just down it. Just come on. Just swallow it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Swallow it. <laughs> you hear that laugh? That's the laugh of a villain. Testicle milkshake? Say less. Raw egg? Butter? Banana? Uh, as I'll show you, uh, him and I are matching. Yes, this is official merch. Please do not be jelly. Testicle? Fermented kefir milk? Wait, stop. Testicle King, something isn't right. Cheers. Seriously, don't drink that. It's so Come on now. Don't forget who daddy is, okay? I know uh, someone's been trying to claim my title. <coughs> Liver King. <coughs> the Testicle King is undefeated, unbreakable. The Liver King doesn't even begin to compare. To say such meaningless things is offensive to the entirety of the nut community. I feel like I'm starting to become brainwashed. No one eats more nuts than me. Nobody eats more nuts than you. It's impossible. It's impossible. I am and will forever be. You are and will forever be the, the testicle, testicle king. king. I'm fully aware that I'll launch vomit nine feet from my stature into the air if I ever smell this in person, but I'm just so curious of what it's like to take a bite. Mm. That's really good. Surely it's disgusting, but he makes it look so delectable. If you're wondering what it tastes like, there's not a lot of flavor. It's very creamy. The thing about testy talk is there is a hierarchy, okay? There is testicle royalty, and this next guy, Flesh God, is nowhere near the top, but he's one of my favorites, and you'll see why. I'm not an expert at putting balls in my mouth, but here I have four little testicles. It's hard to get the skin off. I don't like salty balls in my mouth, so I'm a sweet in my balls. Like, are you kidding me? This man is the most magical creature I've ever seen in my life. If I gently rubbed a Budweiser can three times, this is the genie. Non-GMO Amish corn. I just add this for oh, what a mess. Some leftover brains. Now that he has finished his delectable appetizer, it's time for the real deal. No more messing around with Amish corn. It's go time. Now let's eat this nutsack tartare. A bunch of good, good stuff. I don't even want to talk about it. So much stuff I put in here. Now it's got balls in it, testicles. Mm. 
This is how I imagine the human population after Mr. Beast overthrows the government and locks half of us away in a white room for nine months. Mmm, so delicious. What a ma manly meal. I mean, this is testosterone boosting, cholesterol fueled. This is just what you eat. Mm. Flesh God, go easy on them. I love this man and everything he does. He's a testicle sucking beast and a bodybuilding legend. If he keeps this up, he's going to join the ranks of testy talk king. The gym is where I make it. Please tell me right now, who else is doing this? Who else is more beast? Nobody. I can feel that pain in my shins. Flesh God, you are an absolute monster of a man in the best way possible. You're, and you're definitely scaring every woman who dares to walk the streets at night, but uh, at least you're getting a workout in. Whoever cared about public indecency? Raw testicles of a lamb. I just cut through the skin. If you're wondering what the benefits of eating balls are, uh, well, don't worry because you're about to find out. So every you eat these testicles, you're gonna notice today, you're gonna feel much more horny, much more alpha. Thank God, I've been dying for those things. It's so delicious. It kind of reminds me of sea urchin. Like, like sea urchin of the land. A lamb testicle is the sea urchin of the land? I believe him. I believe everything this man says, so I'm just gonna go with it. He could tell me a tale of a magical testicle from a distant train that would transform me into an alpha Amish corn eating beast and I would buy a train ticket faster than the speed of light. To end this video off, raw testicles are a problem and you probably should not be eating them. If you really are craving the sea urchin of the land, just cook it maybe. And if you are a regular around these parts, you've probably realized that I moved. My room is different. This room is strangely large. I don't have a solid recording spot yet, so it might change around a bit. Also, I never really plug anything besides Twitter, uh, so I'm going to do that now. My second channel, Cyber New Prime, I'm trying to use more starting soon. I'm going to be doing a Lego building thing soon. I might post some of my art there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the panel behind me, the this uh, is a berserk. Uh, fan insert panel that I drew. Also, uh, <coughs> uh, so yeah, uh, don't count on me to consistently upload because I'm mega depressed, uh, but I'll try, no promises, and don't eat raw meat. Bye.